you, Dr. Pereira. 75 years ago, Miss Nellie Edwardson, overcome with guilt by the fortune her late husband's family had amassed producing mustard gas during World War I, founded our institute so that the wonders of science could instead be used to help mankind. In the 1950s, the institute identified overpopulation as mankind's single greatest long-term threat. Because of all the catastrophes we are seeing today, extreme climate and weather events, and the devastating impact on food and water security. Among the many solutions we conceived so many years ago, one which seemed then so ambitious, so out of our grasp, has finally borne fruit. And today we are proud to unveil what we firmly believe to be the only practical, humane, and inclusive remedy to humanity's greatest problem. My colleague, Dr. Jürgen Asbjørnsen, will now present his findings. Are you ready, doctor? Yes, I'm ready. of our predecessors at the Institute, my team and I discovered a process by which all organic material can be reduced at the cellular level by a ratio of approximately 2,744 to 1. Such a process, commercial man are 1.8 meters to just 12.9 centimeters. A wide array of flora and fauna were subjected in this process and the with the exception of some fish and shellfish, absolutely no side effects were detected. Please lines. Once the safety of the procedure was confirmed, 36 brave volunteers joined my wife, Anne Helena, and me as the very first humans to undergo cellular reduction. The process is short and painless only the mind discomfort of removal and replacement of dental and other prosthetics. The subjects are placed under light sedation and after a brief rest, fully recover within an hour or two. 